Dear Sarah Marissa Bradish, first off, don't cry. You will mess up your makeup if you do. That's fine. You are beautiful and gorgeous either way, and it's cute. I am so glad this day is finally here and I get to call you my wife. You have taught me so much mentally and physically throughout the years and many more to come. Planning our wedding, this beautiful great day we get to cherish has been pretty tough on you, but I know we both got a couple of gray hairs from it, but the best part is we get to grow old together to see each other's full head of gray hair. The future is going to be so awesome and I cannot wait to raise beautiful babies with you and grow strong together. I'm not good at writing these love notes, but I know it makes you happy, and that's something I will always try my best to keep you in that happy place. I will always do my best to cherish you and care and nurture you and our future children. We finally did it. We are now one. You, God, and I are one. Together, we will take on this journey together and make the absolute best of it. Love your husband. Drew. Wow, I can't believe today is finally here. Our wedding day, I am so blessed that God chose you for me. I am so proud of you and so proud to be your wife. I can't wait to see what God has in store for us and to experience what life has to offer us. As your soon-to-be wife, I promise to respect you, communicate with you, work on any problems that come up, and do everything God asks you to do as a wife to help you become a better man. I can't wait to create a family with you, grow old together, and watch life unfold in front of us. You, <laughs> you are my very best friend. I love spending every second with you. Thank you for being everything I needed plus more. I love you so much, babe. Love, your soon to be wife. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Drew, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Miss Bradish. to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself after all. No one has ever hated his own body, but he feeds and cares for it, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. 